He won't know too much about that, but he'll take the end result because it's gone a long, long way somehow. It's kind of flown off the leading edge. Oh, yeah. Lovely. It's absolutely wonderful. Any format of the game. Oh, oh good pace. That has really rushed David Milan. Depending on how well they do. Beautiful. Finally. Oh, he's got that. Nailed. It had to happen sooner or later. And that has gone many, many a mile. It goes again. You're going to get the same result. That's fantastic. Yeah, sir. And that's blazed away as well. Wonderful timing from the former England skipper. Heavy in terms of run scoring. And they will continue to. That has gone a long, long way. More glorious timing from Milan. There's. Catch that. And that should be out. It's gone. Yeah. Joe Root loses his shape. He's never too far away from a wicket. You don't see this too often from Joe Root, just losing that front shoulder, trying to go up and over. I think the offside and then that bottom hand has just come through. And a... Well, intentions made very clear from the off. What a wonderful strike. Straight away, innovation, but it hasn't worked in the favour of Shah Massoud trying to go up and over using the reverse and a comfortable catch yeah both of the bears trump cards briggs and lintot struck in their very first over i know they've lost a couple of wickets quickly there but oh it is a good pitch no, no. And that's a good example of why it is a good pitch. It's sliding on pretty nicely. That maybe the odd one's getting stuck in the pitch a bit, but generally good surface. Well, has he got all of this? Yes, he has managed to pick out the gap as well. In, in. Oh, shouts of catch. Yeah! And it's been taken nicely. I just wondered if it was going to drop in that pocket. Gotta make sure that he's got his fingers underneath the ball. It looks as if he has Sam Hain. Just as the ball has landed in his hands. The challenge back in the side today. Some leg spin. He decides to go up and over. Not enough. Well, that sounded good off the bat. Shouts of catch behind the stumps from Ali. Punched a locker. Gone. Another one. Now then, has the work been done behind the stumps? Nice pitch, it looks to be coming on. And it's certainly coming on there, and <laughs> it does pretty well. It does very well. Don Bess, I don't think he really knew too much about it, but he finds the boundary. Two good overs required for Yorkshire Vikings. Gets just enough, gets just enough. And that's a good shot because mid-off is up, so it's a good option with a full ball. Excellent catch. Sliced away this time. What a catch. What a brilliant, brilliant catch. Cool, they have been so good in the field. Gleason picks up another. It's been an excellent return to the 11 for him. And that is Chris Benjamin with a stunner down there at third man. Very, very fine catch indeed. From Will Rose last year as club captain at Warwickshire. Ah! He hasn't got all of this as well either. This should fall safely and it does. So the Yorkshire Vikings know they need wickets and that's their first. Alex Davies to go. 
nowhere near it. Not sure whether he was trying to slog sweep it, hit it over mid on. Just... Oh. Constantly working on his game, a bit of luck from Mosley as well. Should race away and it does. So first boundary of the day for the Bears. That sounded good off the bat. Manages to find the gap just in front of square. Nicely timed, powerful sweep. Yeah! Straight through. Don Bess. Just keeping it simple. Keeping the stumps in play. Well, the batter was ready this time. But the result was exactly the same. Flat-footed swing across the line. Yeah. Oh, nicely done. Just a delicate touch from Dan Mowsley. Mosley. Using a, a bit of the extra pace. Jamie Smith, so there's so much talent coming through. I don't know if Dan Mowsley's got all of that, but he absolutely has. It didn't sound it off the bat. There, that's making it a little bit brighter. In the air, in the air, and all the way. It's a second mighty blow from Mosley. Ask Polly. <laughs> Swept away. You won't have to worry about it. That's comfortably past 49. 50 up for the Bears, 52 for two. Yes, it has when you pick up wickets. Slow ball picked and dispatched by Hayne. That is a beautiful stroke. Straight. <laughs> oh, in the air. Thompson, he does this so often. Alan Donald just catching every spare word that he could catch. And that has gone a long way. Very talented lad. Picks up length really quickly. This time it slides on. Slashed away. Good timing. It won't be six, but it'll be four. If they perhaps need him, he can bat at the top or the top end, helped on its way. Too short, just coming on nicely. Sam Hain doing Sam Hain things, really, just guiding his team at the moment. He goes to 27, 89 for three. Quick feet, very quick feet, what a shot. All under pressure if you're hitting that length of four, square of the wicket. Goes this time down the ground. That is a wonderful strike. Again, it may have been taken in the deep, mm, not sure. By the way, Jacob Bethel clipped away. Beautiful timing. Oh, has he got enough of that? Not quite, not quite. Hasn't quite got the elevation. Yeah, you can hear straight away the frustration from Bethel. He no, he didn't get all of it. It might have been a, a back of the hand, slower delivery from Jordan Thompson. It was certainly pace off. From 39. Oh, close, very close and given. But what a decision from Sean Massoud because he did turn to Jordan Thompson. He hasn't let him or his side down. Two quick wickets. Seen him covering these games. He comes into the bowling and tack and just makes things happen. Tries different things. He's happy to be under pressure. Not to be, but what an over this has been. And again, pace off, but doesn't quite work. Oh, high up on the bat from Chris Wokes and taken safely. So again, Jordan Thompson just finding a way. Just rushed him a little bit. Wokes wasn't expecting it at all. The head went down. He's like, oh, wow, that's on me really quickly. High up on the bat. Oh, has he got the angle? Yes, he has. I think there was a point in play, so deep cover had to run round to try to slip in play. And a nice swipe down the ground, always does the job. So Danny Briggs has done it in style for the Bears. They get their third win of the season in this Vitality Blast.